Welcome. In this video, I want to talk about using Final Cut Pro with Synology Drive. And the things I'm going to talk about in this video could apply to probably Premiere and other software that creates large files. So the way Synology Drive works is you have a bunch of files on your computer and it synchronizes them with the Synology NAS and it can also synchronize with other computers. So you have a replication of these files on multiple machines. When you use something like Final Cut Pro, it makes lots of updates to those files regularly, and you can also deal with some very large files. So you don't really want that syncing all of the time while you're working with it. So say you're at an office and you're working on a Final Cut Pro project, and you close down for the day, and then you want to go work at home on the same Final Cut Pro project. Well, you can do that with Synology Drive, but I'll share a couple tips to make that easier. So I have a Final Cut Pro project here on my MacBook, and it's in my Synology Drive, so I'll double click on it to open it. And if I go up here to my Synology Drive menu, this will change as it's sending things over. So, so far it says there's this underscore sync thing. It said deleted just now. So this is the first time I've opened it on the Synology Drive, but it goes to my first tip is I have the cache here. Okay, so as I was editing this, I realized I didn't tell you how to get to this screen. So this popped up the first time I opened it, but it's not always going to do that. So I'll hit cancel here. So if you click over on the left on your library here, and you go to the right, you'll see where it says storage locations. Click on modify settings, and that will bring up this screen. And then you can click on cache and make the adjustment I'm about to tell you right now. I have the cache here, and the cache can get stored in the library, and that would sync over. But I don't necessarily want to sync the cache, because the cache can be huge, and it can be recreated on the other computer. So if you click on cache here, mine's set up to go to this FCP cache folder, and that's on another computer. Normally it says in library, but I'll go to choose here, and I have the same folder, and you can make this folder whatever you want. You can call it whatever you want. Mine's in my movie directory, and I just call it FCP cache. I'll select that and hit choose. And I'll hit OK. So now we have the main Final Cut Pro project in the Synology Drive, but that cache is in a separate directory that's not going to get synced. So I'll open up this library. I'll open up the project here. This is kind of hard to see. I film this at 720p, so it doesn't look great. And if I go down here and if I just delete things, move things around, those things are going to sync with the Synology Drive up here. Okay, you see the settings? It's uploaded. Okay. Move a couple more things here. So you can see this is popping up. Well, I don't really want that to happen right now. I want it to sync when I'm done working for the day. So what you can do is you can come up here to your Synology menu, click on it, and where you have the checkbox here, you can click this and you can pause it. So then you can work in Final Cut Pro, make all these changes, and before you leave during the day, you can go up here and resume it. You can also go to the three dots down here in the bottom right of these settings, click on it and go to settings. And I'm on sync tasks here, and you see we have my drive and team folder. Since I have two set up here, I can actually click on these independently and pause them. So if I want to keep team folder syncing, but not the my drive, I can click on this and click pause, and it'll just pause my drive. So now if I go in here and make some changes, These will not be synced in real time. Okay, so I've made some changes. So let's assume that I'm done for the day. I can close out of this, and that'll save any final changes. I can go up to my Synology Drive. I'll click on the settings again, and I'll resume this. So you see when I had one paused, this menu didn't show it as paused. So most of the time you'll probably just click on that. So I'll unpause it. Oop. Well, okay. So I had it paused. I want to click on it and click resume and it will resume. And now you can see it updated the three files. So when you're working with large files, it can still take a while to upload and sync. By pausing it, it's not sending all of those little changes. So this should work with Premiere, but it could also work with other software if you're dealing with large files and you're updating them a lot and saving them a lot, and you don't necessarily want to sync them immediately. So I hope this is helpful to anyone using Final Cut or similar software with Synology Drive. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.